Hello everybody, welcome uh, to another video on these uh, beautiful retro books. Well, the books are not retro. <laughs> the theme of the books are, is retro. Uh, this is called uh, Breaking the Borders. Now, as with the other uh, similar videos of mine that we are going to be released together, uh, they are going to be both uh, live on my main channel and my retro exclusive channel. This time we have uh, Breaking the Borders, a true story of digital liberation and power without the price, forward by Professor Dr. Friarmouth. The TRST and the creative people, of course. Have a look behind. Okay. Ah, another big boy. How many pages is this one? Uh, I think it's about 400 pages. Not exactly, or perhaps exactly. <laughs> Let's see. What can we see here? Oh, of course, the contents. Always a good place to start. Forward, then we have 1984, Handing for 16-bit. 1987, Mouse of God. 1988, Battle of the Electron Beam. 1989, Rise of the Democene. 1990, Flight of a Fancy. Hmm, and Professional Problems. Interesting. Coda, Only the Good Die Young. Is that a song? Enter Denim, of course. Uh, oh, more Falion Classics. Man, they made some good games. They made some good games. No question about it. Ooh, the SF314. I had them. I had uh, one of them. For my first Atari ST. Loud, very loud machine, especially later on. Yeah, and after a few years, I bought a very slim one, third party, I think, external floppy disk drive. But it was so quiet. But of course, even though it was very slim, very future looking, even for today, for 2024, it wasn't really as cool as the SF314. Yeah, it talks about the uh, crash and then for the uh, move to the computers. So cool. Some of these ads I haven't seen. This looks Italian. And talk about the ST models. Oh! This is actually um, information on the Atari ST. The hardware, I mean. Nice. Ah, I still remember the first day I, uh, un I got mine and I unboxed it. And, um, you know, assembled the whole thing. This is good. Oh, this is good. Uh, I unboxed it and, um, you know, the feeling and then the disappointment as I realized I didn't have any games. <laughs> I had uh, just uh, the language pack and uh, a couple of other programs. I don't remember right now what. And that was a big disappointment, so I had to wait a couple more days to get uh, my first game, Star Glider. Still, the feeling of having a, well, almost a spaceship was good. It was really good. Jump ahead. As I said, I don't want to spoil too much. Oh, cool. I haven't seen this before. What is it? Okay. Mm, is it this one? TFMX MMTEX editor. I don't know. Might be? Or is it big? I don't know. I, I... No, it is. Yeah, it is. It says here on the left. TFMX, TFMX MMTEX editor. I don't know this program. First time I see it. I'm Amiga demos. Interesting. Skip ahead. There's some paper. What? 
Ah, oh, what's this? Matrix in the pixel. After many years of work, art craft becomes an extensive tool for comic production on the ST. Price 119 German mark. Oh, this is so cool! I don't know this software. I wish I did. Not that I could draw anything, but still. Iron Maiden, the best. Skip ahead. Uh, yeah, many of these things I have never seen before. And I want to read them and enjoy the colors and the design. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still play uh, my Atari stick games from time to time, but seeing this on paper, it, it, it's strange, but it, it travels me back to the 80s and early 90s, more than actually playing the game. Because, you know, back then you could the only way you could see these games, other than playing them, or software in general, I mean, uh, was of course in magazines. And this brings me that back. Pirates. Yeah, it is Pirates. For me, the best game ever created. Not my favorite, but the best game ever created. I didn't know they made tools back in the 80s. from demo scenes. Wow. No idea that was going on. Wait, what 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 area? What uh UK Yeah It makes sense. UK and Germany probably somewhere else, right? Links all I remember about links back then, I mean, was that uh, it was consuming batteries very fast and that I couldn't afford one. Stoss, the game creator. You know, nah, I never actually gave that a chance. Never. Which is the same. But I, I think that at the time I was I had uh, given up on uh, using the Atari as a programming machine. Uh, mostly because of my disappointment with uh, BASIC on the Atari ST. Oh, that's nice. India Lizing, what? Okay, let's skip this, I don't want to give away too much. Dragon Flight. I don't think I have ever played this game before. Yeah, let's skip. Spectrum 512. If I ever heard of a drawing program, it was this one. I never used it. Or perhaps, no, actually, it looks familiar. Perhaps I did use it. Although I'm pretty sure I never bought it back then. So cool. I like the photos of uh, people from that uh, period. Because, yeah, it reminds me of me. Yeah, yeah, I definitely have played this game before. But platformer games were never really my kind of thing. Although I did enjoy some of them. Wings of Death or Dra Dragon Spirit. But there's Wings of Death for some reason. Ninja. Uh, uh, the Last Ninja. I, I never... I, I, I got... I think I got one of them on the Atari City, but didn't like it. I played it a little bit on a friend's uh, Amstrad CPC. And it was uh, quite uh, a disappointment because I couldn't figure out how to control the character. Uh, because uh, my main problem with the games, uh, with uh, isometric perspective or close to that, was the controls. It just sucked. I still say that if, if they had managed to solve the problem back then, they would be so much better. But no, we, need, we had to wait for several more years for that to happen. Uh, in memory of Udo Fischer, he died in 2016. Ah, bless him. What says here? Without machine code, you simply couldn't con conjure up anything usable. Sounds about right. 
Although I didn't uh, dealt with uh, Masenko back in the 80s. Oh boy, memories, memories, memories. Breaking the borders. Lovely book. Definitely one that you can read and reminisce, remini, that one. But the big boy again. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I have a link down below with uh, both my, well, all my channels, but both my uh, channels that this video will appear on. Also the Microsate uh, publisher, where you can buy any of these books you want. And I uh, hope you like this video. Please uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. On either of my channels, or, or the other channels too, I guess. And if you want to donate something with the coffee link, please uh, make it so. <laughs> Take care, stay safe, bye bye everybody.